So it's very difficult to follow, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and he's done bloody well. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to start with, uh, and I'm at uh, two minutes, guys, okay? So we wrap up because people are hungry and, and people are g getting on planes and stuff like that, yeah. Um, the first thing is some, some mundane and not so mundane uh, housekeeping stuff. The first thing is I've been told that anybody who attended dinner yesterday and enjoyed the, the building, and we, uh, you can pick up, I, I guess, a paper version of a photograph from, uh, from the hospitality guys over here. So I think they've kindly printed it out. If you want to take it and prove to your loved ones that you, you weren't just having fun, but uh, like actually having fun. Okay. <laughs> so that's the first one. Uh, the second thing is I take up this challenge about Creative Commons, Creative Licenses, and PowerPoints. And I would ask anybody who's spoken, shared slides, that, you know, as a lecturer, you can do this, unless I hear otherwise. Um, those slides can be published with a Creative License, share. It, it, what is the right terminology, Cable? I mean, you can tell me what the way, yeah. All right, that's, that's, and this is not a name and shame, so clearly, if you don't want to do it, because you've got some wonderful picture you, or, or a picture you've stolen, uh, which is not coming from pe Pexels or Unsplash or whatever else we, we use these days, please let us know. The third thing is something that Aldo's, Aldo here, um, asked, asked me, and, and some other people have asked me, um, and I said, there's interesting people here, I want to keep in touch, who attended. As part of what Anthony is saying over the next two weeks, we'll, we'll, we'll create a database uh, of people's names, where they came from, and emails, so you guys can stay in touch with whatever form of communication you, you want to have. If under some sort of data protection thingy under your country or the Stasi or whatever it is, you don't want to do that, please let us know, okay? Because otherwise, there is, you know, we will be doing that. And the same thing will apply with videos and stuff like that. Um, this evening, if any of you want to join us at my favorite restaurant, if you don't want to come, I'm going. Um, uh, and it's not a plug. It's, it's a strange place called Talpatut. It's in Birgu. It's across the waters. It's run by a, a crazy guy who used to work for Reuters and about 15 years ago decided that his calling was not in, in doing whatever he was doing at Reuters, but to become a chef. And, and you can join us if you wish to. I kind of relate to this guy because like most of these guys, we've all had two, three different careers where we changed, dramatically changed course didn't we, in our lives. So you can you know, join Donald and us um, at Talpatut. Last housekeeping thing is we've got something weirdly called the Unconference, which I had stolen from Alec, who's probably left, has Alec left? Uh, you're there, okay? I, I, had, I had met Alec in, 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 uh, in Krakow, beautiful city, at an OER summit, and, and Alec, ran this thing called an unconference. At the end of the day, we just hung out together. And the conversations which hadn't happened in formal settings happened in informal settings, or people would have said, I really wanted to talk to you about this. I'm aware a lot of you will want to A, leave, to go and explore, C, crash out. But the idea is that we'll go to the rickshaw area over there after lunch, get a couple of drinks, and people can muck around. I don't think we'll spend more than an hour and a half, two hours. But you'll be amazed what happens in informal conversations sometimes. Okay, um, to, to formally close, okay, and, and we're nearly there. This is a bit of a miracle that this thing, this little conference happened because it's, I'm based in a tiny place called Malta, guys. Okay, so yeah, 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 I mean, I'm a long way off from Vermont, from Vancouver, from all sorts of places. And at one stage I had people reminding me, this is an EU conference, guys. You're only meant to get EU people, okay? And, and, and we, we just decided to start breaking rules. Because we said, I, I think we, we knew very clearly at the beginning of the Malta presidency, this thing had to be A, global, B, we have a lot to learn from each other, and, and C, if we just isolate ourselves into a European silo, we're, we're, we're looking down the wrong way. So you know all those things that, that the minister was talking about at the beginning, things like, you know, equity, inclusion, open, diversity, civil rights, you name it. There are some people who really believe in it because it might be the last time in their lives that they get a shot at shaking some trees and hoping the leaves, you know, will actually fall out. Um, there's many things we didn't discuss, which I would really have loved to have discussed, you know. Social, anti-social, gender gaps, 
not enough women on stage. That was my, the best lesson I had once when I was in Brussels, probably in Deirdre's group, and somebody said, where's the women? And we didn't have enough women probably on the head podium, but we, you know. And it was a, a real reminder that not all of us are, you know, white guys, even though it seems to be the return of the white guys, you know, culturally, I guess. Things we didn't discuss, you know, not enough about the fear of technology. This whole rubbish about digital natives, that's a Mark Prensky thing, you know. Many of us have debunked it. I'm 55 years old. I saw my first computer when I was 23. No, just because kids have been brought up with all the shiny tools like these guys have, it doesn't mean that they know how to operate them. At the same time, us who have to teach these guys don't understand quite what we have to do to teach when we've got these shields in front of us. Two things I heard. One, digital is not our salvation. Two, one I will add, the alternative is not inferior. It shouldn't be. And many of us potentially are the alternative. Last thing, one of the nicest books I ever read is an old book now by Yokai Benkler called The World of Networks. That's what we have here. And we have no excuses not to uh, network horizontally, whatever way you want to do it over a drink. Um, I speak to Brian once every five months, will he track sometimes. I speak to Balaji virtually every week on Skype. I'm living in Sijiwi. God knows where he's normally on a plane. Balaji is normally speaking to me before he gets to work. We're going to create something here called the Commonwealth Center for Connected Learning, whatever it is. It's just an excuse to activate networks of good practice between people who have something to offer and people who need something. That sounds awfully idealistic. But we've already connected somebody who needed to set up a MOOC at the Institute for Tourism Studies, and they had no money for a MOOC platform. And then came the Indian Institute of Technology, and they plugged, we plugged them together, like good marriage brokers. So all I can ask you to do is, you know, a conference, move on to the next thing, okay? Um, there's many things I think we could all do together, okay? I've greatly enjoyed this. So thank you very much for having joined us, and let's go on. <laughs>Can we just take one more second, which is, first of all, I think we didn't give the students an applause. Thank you so much for going to come. And secondly, this guy made all happen together with Erica and Sue, and, and I forgot. probably a big, big team. I forgot Erica, Sue, their team, whoever, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, this has been like, a, so thank you for reminding me, okay? It's been, it's been a big show. Woo! Now you can get up.